Daily Devotion with Pastor Bala for August 10th, 2024. From the book of 2 Timothy, Guarding Against Worldly Pleasures, A Call to Godly Living. Previously, we heard Paul explore the challenging reality where people become heartless, unappeasable, slanderous, without self-control, brutal, and not loving good. We examined how these traits manifest themselves in today's world and contrasted them with God's call for Christians to embody love and righteousness. The message emphasized the importance of relying on God's word and grace to resist these negative influences. And finally, it encourages us as believers to be beacons of Christ's love in a world that desperately needs it. So, let's continue with the book of 2 Timothy. 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 4. Treacherous, reckless, swollen with conceit, lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of God. The Apostle Paul warns about those who are treacherous, reckless, swollen with conceit, lovers of pleasure instead of lovers of God. And so, let's focus on that last phrase, lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of God. In our modern world, we are constantly bombarded with temptations and distractions that lead us away from our Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ. Everywhere we turn, the world offers us pleasures and indulgences, promising fulfillment and happiness. But as Christians, we must ask ourselves, are we putting these worldly pleasures before our love for God? It is important to understand that God is not against pleasure itself. After all, he created a world full of beauty and wonder for us to enjoy. The psalmist declares in Psalm chapter 16, verse 11, You make known to me the path of life. In your presence there is fullness of joy. At your right hand are pleasures forevermore. True, lasting pleasure is only found in God himself. The danger lies in allowing our desire for earthly pleasures to supersede our love for God. When we prioritize temporal gratification over our eternal relationship with our Creator, we risk losing sight of our true purpose and calling as children of God. Consider the rich young man in Matthew chapter 19 who turned away from Jesus because he loved his possessions more than he loved God. This example serves as a stark reminder of the consequences of misplaced love. So, how do we guard against becoming lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of God? First and foremost, we must remember that our ability to resist temptation and love God rightly comes not from my own strength, but from the grace of God through faith in Christ Jesus. It is only through His sacrificial death and resurrection that we are redeemed and empowered to live godly lives. Second, we must intentionally cultivate our love for God. This means dedicating time to prayer, studying His Word, and participating in the life of the church. As we grow in our knowledge and love of God, worldly pleasures will pale in comparison to the joy we find in Him. Thirdly, we should examine our lives and priorities regularly. Are there areas where we have allowed pleasures to take precedence over our relationship with God? Let us repent of these and seek God's forgiveness and guidance. Lastly, let us remember that true contentment and fulfillment comes from living according to God's will. As St. Augustine famously said, you have made for yourself, O Lord, and our heart is restless 
until it rests in you. Dear Christian friends, as we navigate this pleasure-seeking world, let us fix our eyes on Jesus, the author and perfecter of our faith. Let us strive to be lovers of God above all else, finding our satisfaction and joy in him. And may the peace of God that does indeed surpass all our understanding continue to guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. If you have enjoyed these daily devotions, please consider making a donation to Peace Lutheran Church, 24024 West Main Street, Plainfield, Illinois, 60544. Thank you again for listening.